I'm Satish. I will give you a quick demo of CodePro platform. I'm on a CodePro website right now. I'm going to go to the admin portal um, from the top login button here. I'll be logging into the cloud console uh, using my test account. As soon as I log in, um, I'm presented with the uh, device dashboard screen, uh, the dashboard, uh, which gives you overall, uh, you know, system um, status. Uh, we have like number of devices and compliant devices, non-compliant devices, uh, and various types of devices, uh, devices communication status, and act some of the activities here on the right side and the top 10 apps among all the devices. On the left side, you can see some unmanaged devices. The device um, uh, MDM has been removed from these devices and then unlocked devices. These devices doesn't have a screen lock passcode. And then there are uh, jailbroken devices. Uh, these devices are rooted and, and jailbroken. Uh, we show all of them in the, in the dashboard. Now I am going to the uh, mobile policy manager, the important uh, part of the admin portal. Once you go to mobile policy manager on the left side, you see um, uh, in the tree for various types of devices. Um, uh, is uh, you know all the enrolled devices. Visually, you can see here uh, in the left side tree panel. Um, now I am going to go to um, Samsung uh, group here. Um, in this group, uh, I have uh, four Samsung devices right now. I'll be setting some group level policy um, as part of the demo. So once I select Samsung group, uh, I want to make sure that I am on the Samsung security. I'm managing the Samsung product. As you can see here, we support four different type of products, Android security, iOS security, Samsung security, and LG security. So since I want to enforce polish, I want to set some policy for Samsung devices. I'll be selecting uh, from top uh, tab here, Samsung security. And then I want to go to device restriction I'm going to enable some restriction. I want to say um, don't allow settings changes. I'm going to select that policy. And I'm going to say save. So now what happens is that policy successfully. All the devices in this group, uh, they, um, they, you cannot make changes in the settings. This. Uh, this policy enforces instantly on the in the device among all the devices, and uh, you can already do it at a group level at one time. All devices, you know, get these settings. Uh, that's the powerful feature in code proof group level policy management. Now, if I want to go to um, individual device, uh, for example, this individual device, I'll go to individual device, and I can have a separate policy for this individual device. So I'll be going to the device restriction. Now this is Samsung security device. I'll go to device restriction. And then you can see here, uh, right now this device is inheriting policy from the parent group. You can see it's inherited, it's inheriting policies. And you can see here setting changes is already turned off here because we did uh, to the group level. Now if I want to um, change the, now I want to reward the uh, settings and reward the policy for just this uh, device. I can just do that and um, uncheck the, you know, don't inherit from parent and then save. Now, this device allows the setting changes, but rest of the device, you know, we have that policy is turned off. All right, so like this, we have various, uh, you know, policies. Um, you can see here various groups we do, like you know, phone management, security management, email policy, secure browsing. We have various policies locating the device. Um, and then we, you, we are, you can see also the first tab here, the device property tab. It gives you information about the device, um, what apps are running, what information, uh, when the device last uh, checked back to um, codebook, uh, cloud, uh, all that information you can see here in the device properties. Actually, there is also command center, very important piece where you can send instant command to the devices, various commands to the devices, it's a command center. So similarly, we have uh, LG and Apple device management. Um, you can see here, um, you can also create custom group uh, by right clicking on the, on, the, on the tree and you can create a custom group and 
um, and move the device from the uh, you know these new groups to come the new custom group you can drag and drop the devices and manage policies so now I'm going to the top menu EMM enterprise mobility management um, some of the feature we have here is that um, you can push apps to the um, all the Android devices, iOS apps, Android apps, APKs, IPA packages, you can push directly from Kodu platform. We also support Apple VPP and DP programs. Uh, you can do all that from EMM section of the Kodu platform console. Um, then we have a, a tracker um, feature here. Uh, this feature using tracker you can remotely um, manage all the devices um, centrally uh, from you can actually uh, visually see where the devices are um, at, in real time uh, and then we have reports um, using reports you can generate various reports um, uh, such as device status report um, various reports we have uh, and you can also export the reports and print them and then we have administration section um, in the administration um, as an administrator you can also add other administrator to the um, code proof account your account like a co-administrator you can also add a, create a user called enrollment user for device enrollment purpose separate account for device enrollment um, and then we have another role called user role for uh, uh, you know if, if the role is user the uh, this person can only see and uh, see the policies but he cannot do any policy changes or send any commands you can also assign uh, this user to different uh, you know groups in the in the management console here and then uh, if you go to the last uh, section here uh, if you click on this icon you see the uh, login email address if you click on that you see like customer information and the license information what kind of license i purchased um, in the past and the uh, subscription uh, start date uh, and you can see all that if there is any subscription ended you see the end dates uh, you can also purchase more license uh, by going to the um, you know this link we can purchase securely uh, using credit card information 